What's going on, YouTubers? I'm Kevin0815, and this is my top five. Today's uh, episode is dealing with my top five favorite restaurants. Not in the world, not in the country, but around where I live. Some of these restaurants you guys have probably never even heard of, probably never will, but I'll explain to you why I like them and um, tell you a little bit about them. So, um, here we go. Number one, my favorite place, this has got to be in all over the country, is Olive Garden. I mean, I know they're expensive. Oh my god, man. The food there. Oh. Oh. I swear to you, if the Pillsbury Doughboy had a dick, he would get a boner every time he walked in that place, because that shit is great. Oh. You know, like the bread, the bread sticks, the garlic sticks, the unlimited salads, the unlimited, uh, they have soups there too, right? Unlimited soups. And the food itself. I mean, I know this is the chicken Alfredo, chicken and broccoli Alfredo. I know that's like, you can get that anywhere. But at Olive Garden, man, I swear to God, this is my personal opinion, is the best I've ever had. I mean, their food is phenomenal. I've had different dishes. There are some dishes I never even heard of, so I can't remember to tell you. But I've had dishes I never even heard of that were fucking phenomenal. I just love Olive Garden. It wasn't if it wasn't so expensive. If it if it was as cheap as McDonald's, okay. If Olive Garden had a dollar menu, <laughs> my ass would be there every day. <laughs> um. So that's that. Number two is Brothers Diner. That's a local restaurant. Uh, you know, it's not all over the country, not even all over the states, just in my town that I know of. Uh, Brothers Diner. It has good food. You know, um, the price. The prices, you know, if their food wasn't really good, I would never go there because their prices are ridiculous. I got, years ago, I, I just got a new, not even years, maybe like two years ago, I just got a new job and I spent my first paycheck on food for my fiance and her mother. And uh, I ordered out, you can order from this place. And I was like, listen, I want three prime rib meals, which comes with uh, prime rib, mashed potatoes, and... A vegetable um, and we all got one each and that was it that's all we got and, and a pudding each um, that was it motherfucking chick came 80 bucks I spent 80 bucks on three meals you better get the fuck out of here I mean like usually they don't cost that much I guess it was because it was around the holidays or some shit I don't know but um it's a great it's got great food there and uh, I love it um, if you guys, anybody who works there is watching this, you need to open the fuck up and stay open longer than 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Much appreciated. Thank you. Number three, the Hungry Pony. For you guys that aren't local, us in this town, southern New Jersey, we're pineys. That's what we're called. We're not rednecks, we're pineys. You get called rednecks, you walk away with no teeth. That's pretty much how it works down here. Um... We're called Pineys because we live in the Pine Barrens, for those of you that don't know. Anyway, the Hungry Piney is this little half restaurant, half bar. It's like as big as an outhouse, but it's great there. Oh my god, they're sandwiches. You go get a cheesesteak. If you love cheesesteaks, you would love this place, okay? This, this place, man. Alright, a half, just a half, is this long, okay? Did you see that? This long and that wide. It is the motherfucking cheesesteak of cheesesteaks. This is the place that that guy, I don't even remember his name, but who did like Food Wars or whatever that shit was called where you take the challenges. This would be the place to go because they have a challenge there. You have to eat two whole ones which are this long and again about that wide. That This long you have to eat two of these. Alright, you eat two of these, you win their contest. You get a picture on their wall. And you get a free t-shirt. Oh, and your sandwich, the sandwiches that you just ate, you just ate them for free. So, this place is really cool. And the fucking, oh, I fell in love with their buffalo chicken cheesesteak. I mean, I, I never even liked spicy foods. And then I tried their buffalo chicken cheesesteak and I fell in love. Number four. Huh. A lot of you guys will agree with me on this one. <sighs> KFC. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. 
Nope, didn't have to drive to Kentucky. It's right here in Jersey. Can you believe that? <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> their chicken is probably the best chicken I've ever had. Um, really good chicken. Uh, the mashed potatoes are phenomenal. The biscuits are, oh my god, I've never... Love my mom to death. You know, everybody loves their mother's cooking best. KFC beats my mom by a little bit. Just, just say, keep it to yourself. Uh, these the the, oh, the biscuits are crazy, you know. Like, and I'm not on crack. If you guys are thinking that, I'm really not. But um, you know, I, I just love KFC. There's nothing about KFC that I don't like, other than the service, which is absolutely shitty. I want to tell you a story real quick. I went to this uh, one KFC. It was on Route 38, I believe. Either 38 or 206. You New Jerseyans will know what I'm talking about. Either Route 38 or 206, and, uh, oh my god, I'm not even joking when I say this, the people were there were racist. Like, it was all, this is what makes me mad, because, like, I'm friends with mad black people, and they're, some of them are the kindest people I ever met in my life. And then, like, I came to this place, and it was all, like, these black people, and, <laughs> god, were they ignorant, man. They were straight up fucking, I don't know if they were racist, I, I'm sorry I said that, but they were goddamn ignorant. I asked the lady, I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, um, can you just put it on my card? She said, yeah, sure. Or she said, yeah, whatever. And she grabbed my card, grabbed it, and then swung it, and then looked at it like this. She's like, Psh, got approved. And I put my hand out so I could have, so she could put it back in my hand. And she was looking right at me and just threw the receipt and the fucking card on the counter. If I wasn't against woman, uh, hitting women, I'd have punched that bitch in the mouth. Anyway, number five. Motherfucking friendlies. If you've ever been to fr if you've never been to friendlies, go because the food is great. I go in there every time and I get one thing, one thing only. I get the same thing every time. And that is, I can't remember what it's called, but it has ranch on it, and fried chicken, and cheese, and it's garlicky. It's very good, and I will never get anything else. The cake there is good. The dessert there is even better. If you've never been to Friendly's, guys, you got to go, really. So um, those are my top five favorite restaurants. I'm sorry I, you know, for those of you that didn't enjoy this, sorry I wasted about eight minutes of your time. Uh, for those of you who enjoyed it, thank you for sticking with me the whole time. I'll see you guys next time. This is my top five. See you guys later.